Welcome to 3.3, Trimmed Mean. We've been looking at the idea of mean, median, mode for some time now. It's time to take this to the next level. If you remember, the mean is considered the average of our data set. And like most averages, we will add all the values together, divide by how many we have. However, there are some values that we consider more extreme than others. If you remember all the way back to grade 11, we have the idea of an outlier. An outlier is a value that's all by itself, the very beginning or the end of a data set. So it's a very small value, or it's a very large value. We call these outliers. And outliers can have a very drastic effect on our mean. If we're going to look at a trimmed mean, we're going to ignore the outliers. This will give us a better or more accurate number for our mean. You may ask yourself, why would we ever do this? Well, let's think of you in your class. You take five, class, five tests, and on that last test, you do very, very poorly on it. Maybe if you got a study, you were playing sports the night before, you just completely bombed that test. If we did the average with your bombed test in it, would that be a true reflection of what you know? Did that test truly reflect how well you're doing on the course? Because it was kind of a one-off, one it was one that's kind of by itself, a very, very low test, we can decide to okay, chop that off, and the remaining four tests give you a better reflection of how well you're doing in this course. So let's look at how we can do a trimmed mean. We'll start off with example number one. In example number one is calculate the mean of the following data set. Well, this is mean. This is what we've been doing for a while. We're going to go through this just to see how those outliers affect it. So the first thing I do is I take these numbers and I add them together. 304. And we'll try this again. Sorry about that. We'll take these numbers and we will add them together. So we start with 304. We're going to add 366 plus 325 plus 350 plus 425 plus 335. Now remember when doing a mean, it doesn't matter if they are in order from large to smallest as long as we add all these together. So we'll add them and then divide by how many values we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'll divide by six. I pull up my calculator and my addition is 2,105. I'm going to divide this by six and I get an answer of 350.83 and the three repeats. So 350.83. Now let's look what happens when we trim our mean. So when we are trimming our mean, we have to remove the highest and the lowest. So if it just says trimmed, you will do the high and the low. So in this case, my lowest value is 304, so I'm going to cross that one out. And my highest value is 425, so I'll cross this one out. Now, the question will always tell you how to trim the mean. In this case, it just says trim it, so you go high-low. The question could say calculate the trimmed mean by removing the lowest value, in which case you would only do the low. Or it could say calculate the trim mean by removing the highest value, in which case you'd only remove the highest. But in this case, there is no directions, it's just trimmed, you have to know that trimmed by itself means low and high. So I've got these two scores crossed off. I'm going to add the rest of them. 366 plus 325 plus 350 plus 335. I'm going to add these up and divide. And here's where you may make a common mistake. A lot of people like just to put down 6, because that's what they saw in the first example. 
But remember, you have to look at this for this question. And this question, I'm only adding up four numbers. So I'll divide this by four. So my addition gives me 1,376. I'm going to divide that by four. And this one works out very nicely, no decimals, to 344. So my trimmed mean from this data set, when I remove my highest and lowest, is 344. A nice follow-up question here might be which of the trimmed values, the low one or the high one, affected the original mean the most? Did the 304 affect it or the 425? You can see because my trimmed mean is lower, it's lower than 350, that that high value must have really brought up that original mean. I take it out and I have a better reflection of the average, 344. Now trimmed mean is a fairly uh, basic concept. I'm going to ask you to watch the video on 3.4, the weighted mean, before you try any of the questions. So if you can watch next video, uh, that's the next thing in your tasks.